Okay, check this shit out. Today I'm gonna do a review of the Ostpa Deli Slicer. So I make my own bread, I like sandwiches, I like lunch meat, but I don't like reconstituted meat, I like whole cuts of meat. So to save cost and to eat what I want and to know what I'm eating, I've been making my own lunch meat and I've been slicing it all by hand with this serrated bread knife. And you can do an okay job, but I don't get thin slices, I don't get even slices. I've been fantasizing for a long time about a meat slicer. Amazon has this on sale right now for $80. It's a pretty good price. Normally I was seeing it for like 120, so I decided to give it a try. We're gonna do a review here and I'll show you what we're working with. So here it is out of the box. It comes fully assembled. I took a second to, I cleaned everything. I removed all the stickers. Uh, you can see there's the blade. Looks like your meat goes on here. There's kind of a guide here for holding your meat in place. It's interesting, it only weighs about five pounds. It's really easy to lift. It's got suction cups on the bottom. So one thing that I noticed right away is that here's the thickness gauge. And you can see there's a gap. And then I think it's supposed to be, I can turn it so there's no gap and then it's kind of safe. That's not the zero setting. So if you go all the way to zero, I'm finding that the blade actually sticks out of the back. So that's something to watch out for. I took the blade off. It's pretty simple. You push this dude, you give it a half turn, and the blade comes right off. A lot of reviewers said it's razor sharp. I'm gonna show you, I can just do that with my finger. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, but I'm not cut. So it's not razor sharp, but neither is my bread knife, right? So I, it's moving, it probably doesn't matter. Pretty easy to clean. The whole thing comes apart. Uh, I cleaned this carrier, I cleaned this meat presser thing, and I cleaned the blade, and it also has this bar. So this whole thing comes apart in like two seconds. You saw me take the blade. I like the uh, kind of ease of use here. A lot of reviewers on Amazon said it's a slow moving blade. That's probably safer for home use, but let's give it a try. So it has a little safety catch here kind of like a chainsaw. And then you push the button. So yeah, that's not super fast. I can adjust it while it's running, that's nice. Doesn't seem like it's gonna walk off the thickness setting, but we'll see when we start using it. That's basically it. Um, I think the thing to do now is to actually take it for a test drive. So fortunately, I made a batch of roast beef this morning and we can just take that for a spin on this guy. So let's roll tape. Okay, so we're gonna test this new slicer by making a batch of roast beef. If you go to the grocery store and you buy pre-made roast beef, it tends to be the eye of round. So that's a cut of meat that is kind of ensconced in this muscle group in the back leg of the animal. It's in the middle of everything, so it doesn't get used very much. You'll see as I cut into this, it's a lighter cut of meat, which makes it more tender. So it's a good choice for doing things other than a roast. I'm gonna trim off most of the fat and I'll save that to make tallow later. And then we will put olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic on it and we'll roast it. I should also mention, uh, I just bought this at the store up the street. Sounds like fart and smile. Right now it's $4 a pound. So this is a really cheap way to get lunch meat. All right, let's go. All right guys, so we got it all trimmed up. I didn't mention this, but I did a truss. I did about every inch and a half. I don't wanna turn this into a knot video, but you can look up a butcher's knot. It's a kind of a self cinching knot. And then I did about two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of pepper, two tablespoons of garlic powder. The trussing is really important because then it cooks more evenly. We've kind of turned it into a round thing. And then later when we slice it, we'll have nice round slices for our bread. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the oven, 450 for 15 minutes and I'm gonna turn down the heat to 225 until I get an internal temp of 115 and then I'm gonna let it rest. Okay, so here's our finished beef. I did let it rest in the fridge overnight. I wanna give the slicer here its best chance of success. So I'm just gonna cut into it and see how I did on the cooking. I removed all the 
strings already. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a perfect roast beef right there. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Okay, so we're at the moment of truth. Look at that beautiful roast beef. Look at these beautiful slices. If you can see that, it's pretty thin. I think I could go thinner. Super paper thin slices. Okay, that's cool. It's a little bit of a learning curve, I think, to get the meat kind of binds on the the blade here. I'm not really sure what. If anybody has suggestions for me on that, let me know. I'm just gonna take a couple more slices and then we'll try it on some bread because it's supposed to work on bread too. All in all, these are nice, thin, beautiful slices. Look at that. That's gonna be a nice sandwich. So here's what I've been able to produce on my first try. This was set at two millimeters. That does look two millimeter, maybe. That was maybe one. This is like one. And then yeah, this is like I'm setting it to where it looks like there should be no space between the blade and the guide. So zero, but I'm getting nice paper thin slices. I think this is what I want, so that's pretty exciting. Pretty nice even slice of bread, better than I could do by hand. So this is the final test. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So I've got my sourdough, that's homemade. Got some homemade mustard. If I'm making a roast beef, that's what I, I kind of like it. Just nice, good whole grain mustard, good bread. This is pretty strong stuff too, so it, it complements the meat really well. I think the key to a really good, especially lunch meat, is air, right? It's like in music they say it's the notes you don't play. If you just have a solid block of steak, you can't bite it, but all this air, all this space makes it tasty. That's what we're working with here. I mean, the beef, the bread, and the mustard are great. Self-review, 10 out of 10. The slicer's not bad. It was $80. If I had paid $300 for that, it would be like a five out of 10. For $80, I'm gonna give it a seven or eight out of 10, you know? I mean, I can cut my bread. We kind of hate, we kind of fight in our house over who has to cut the bread. And I like the nice even slices I'm getting. This is a great sandwich. This is better than any deli meat that I could buy, so. If this helps me get there, it's worth it, I think. I'm gonna keep this for a while, I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know how durable it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.